In recent months, the war in Ukraine has destabilized the world economy, and individuals and families across our region are experiencing the fallout. Soaring prices for food and fuel have plunged millions even deeper into poverty and piled further pressure on already volatile societies here in the Middle East and North Africa. The hearts of the people are crying out for peace. Every year, the world marks 21 September as International Day of Peace. But as Christians, we bear witness to a peace that the world cannot give. The Bible offers no hope of universal peace until our Lord returns. In fact, He warned us to expect wars as nations rise up against each other. But in the meantime, He provides for His people the gift of peace, a different kind of peace, which reconciles us to God and one another through His death. It helps us live at peace with others and keeps us faithful to Him amid the strife that rages around us. As a Christian media ministry serving the Middle East and North Africa, SAT7 is committed to promoting peace among and through the churches of the region. We share the gospel of peace with all our viewers and offer them an opportunity to respond to it. And we create programs that examine life and worldview in an open way and promote peace, reconciliation and forgiveness. SAT7 received many messages from viewers testifying to their experience of God's peace through our channels. Adam from Egypt said, Some time ago, I sent a prayer request because I had difficulties at home. My prayer was that my household and I would serve the Lord. I would like to thank you for praying and testify that we now have peace and our lives and ways of handling problems have changed. Truly, thank you for your prayers and being there when we needed you. So, on this International Day of Peace, please pray for Christians across the Middle East and North Africa that they may be renewed daily by the Spirit of Peace. And for Sat7 and for us at Sat7 as we share God's peace with them and with everyone. And may the peace of God guard your own hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.